If you're taking your dog to see the Christmas lights, and I highly recommend that you do, it is such a fun experience. There are a couple of things you want to keep in mind to make this a really good experience and to document it for yourself. You want to get those really cute pictures of your dogs and the videos of your dogs watching the lights. Now, we've discussed this in smaller videos, but I really want to break this down for you here. You want to make sure that you are being responsible and safe as you're taking your dogs to see these lights. So if you are walking them, make sure they're on a harness, make sure they're on a leash, and you are ready to go with that. If you're driving them, make sure they have their harnesses on and you have used their seatbelts to clip them in. Now, use your own discretion on whether or not you're going to be opening or keeping your windows closed. So if it's closed, you might have some no smears on the window, have some water wipes there. You can just kind of wash it away if you need to. Make sure your windows are clean before you go. If you're going to be opening it, really make sure your dog is clipped in good so that they cannot escape if they get excited or if they get frightened or if they notice something, if they could potentially jump out, you've got to make sure you're being responsible about keeping them in the car. And I do recommend if you are going to be documenting this, that you're sitting with them. So if they're in the back seat, you are also in the back seat. Someone else is going to be driving the vehicle. Make arrangements before you go because it's really fun. It's so much fun to get your dog in a car and drive them through a series of lights and allow them to just look at it. My dog had a ball. Now I went to this particular location twice. I went when it was early in the evening. So this is like five, five thirty. You could still see there's light out. They could see all of the lights going on and I could get really good documentation of them. Great. We also went back after dark. So we came back like an hour later and this is where my tip and trick comes in. If you are going to be documenting your dog, watching the lights when it is dark out, you're going to get better quality lights, but you are going to struggle to see your dog. They're going to be in harsh shadows because the light is outside of the windows streaming in and you're going to be on the opposite side. So if your dog is here, the window is over here and you're over here, you're getting the shadows with the light behind them. So the tip is one of two things. If you only have one or two dogs and you're just shooting out of one window, get a video light and attach it to your phone. You clip it right onto it and you shine the light on your dog. Lower the rate of your light so it's not super bright, but that way you can get all the detail in their fur as they are looking outside, but you're not detracting from the lights outside and you're not necessarily casting too much light inside of the car. If you don't want to use a video light, turn on your car interior light. Those are yellow based lights. So it will be tinged more yellow than it will be a natural color, but that's okay. You're just documenting this, right? So your goal is to have a light source on the inside of the car to make sure that your dog is going to be illuminated as they are watching the lights. Then all you have to do is hold up your phone and you're just going to film your dog and you can do this horizontally, you can do it vertically, whatever you want. Tell the person who's driving to go a little on the slow side. We don't want to go too terribly fast. And then if you have the ability to go through twice, depending on where you are and what that location is like, do it. The more times you can loop through it, the more footage and the better footage you are going to be able to get. So if you are going to an area that's like driving around your town, you're just going down the streets or whatever, you can go back and you can do things again, especially if you find like a really well-lit house. Um, this is, was a house that actually had their entire long driveway lit and they had a circle down at the end. So we just looped around it a couple times and out we went. If you are going to something like um, an actual drive-through event, that's probably not going to be something that you can get another round of going through it easily. You would have to go back and get in line. Usually it takes a long time. We've actually talked about doing um, like the Virginia Boardwalk has really cool light display. I've showed you that in other videos. You uh, That would be more difficult to go through another time. So plan accordingly. Make sure you know what you're doing and where you're going and pay attention to where the lights are going to be and what side you need your dogs on of the car to get the best lights. You're going to assess that as you go. And you just want to make sure that they're illuminated and that you're filming through the window as well. The closer you can get to your dog, the more you're going to see through the window and you're going to get some really cool footage. So the goal of this is to illuminate the dog on the inside and make sure that you are filming your dog as you go. Now, you also have the ability to use different products that will attach to your car's headrest. So you can actually create... Um, uh, like a little tripod to hold your phone. It will potentially be shaky, so test it out first. I use it in my car as I'm filming and creating content inside of my car. And um, if you don't have it like right up against the headrest, it will get kind of shaky. So test that before you go, if that's something you wanna do, if the content you're creating is important to you, which if you're at this video, it is. So you wanna make sure you know how that works. If you are clamping it in somewhere, if you're attaching it with a clamp, whatever, you're putting it in some type of phone holder to do the work for you. Just test it 
first to make sure you're getting footage that's not going to look like that as you are going to be watching that back. Otherwise, handhold it. It's not going to be a huge deal. You're just getting those lights in the background and you're going to be able to clip things together. Now, prepare your dog for this. Of course, you want to let them know, hey, we're going to see the lights. Dogs don't understand all the words, but they're going to get some of it. And so you want to make sure that before anything else, you are, as you're pulling in, telling them, hey, this, we're going to look out the, we're going to look at the window. We're going to watch the lights. We're going to look at these things and make sure your dog is comfortable and safe and feels okay about what you are doing. Dogs might get nervous. They might get excited. They might be overwhelmed. And so you want to make sure you're monitoring what your dog is doing first. Your dog's well-being is your primary goal here as opposed to your content creation. So if you need to hold them and calm them and pet them and you can do that while holding your camera, do it. Otherwise, put the camera down and just pay attention to your dog, show them the lights. But that also helps if you are going somewhere where you can be looping around with the lights. So let's say you do want to go to a big light display like the one at the beach that I keep talking about. Before you do that, I would go driving around your neighborhood. Go see lights that you can just kind of drive by. And you're going to sit there with your dog and you're going to point them out. You're going to talk about them. You're going to show that this is a fun experience. Like how cool this stuff is. And they'll then be more calm, a little bit more excited about it. So when you do get to the point of going to a big light display that you can't repeat, they're already comfortable with it. And you don't have to worry about that. So you can build them up to that as well. We talk a lot about how to work your dog over some of the fears of like riding in the car and doing different things here on the channel. Same principles apply if you've watched those videos. You're just working them up to it so that they understand what they're about to walk into. And then they're going to be comfortable and excited to be there. My dogs loved the lights. They were so excited about the lights. They were, one of them was a little, a little nervous at first because it was a new experience. She gets a little nervous about new experiences, but it only took a couple of the little displays before she figured it out. She was real excited to be there. The other one was very, very watchful of it. And so when we went back, they were all about the lights, especially when it was darker and they could more easily see them. So this is a really fun opportunity for you to go with your dog and to document the lights. And all you have to do is make sure you've illuminated them from the inside and you are filming them through that window at an angle where you can very clearly see the lights and see your dog. And you're going to want to talk your dog through the process so that you can get them moving around and looking. Sometimes you're actually going to want them to look over the shoulder at the camera. Sometimes you're going to want them to watch the lights. So you're actually going to narrate what they're doing, how they're behaving, and that will help to guide the process of content creation to get exactly what it is that you are going to be wanting with that. And then the more times you can do it, the more footage you're going to get, the easier it's going to be and the less pressure you're going to feel to get exactly what you want because you're going to have a lot of opportunities to do that. So go drive around your neighborhood, go look at different light displays, go get your dog used to it and have fun with your content creation and follow along because we're giving you more tips and tricks on how to take photos and videos of your dog to document throughout the course of their life, whether it's just for you or for your social media. We want to make this as easy as possible for you and as fun as possible for you. We're opening every single day with new videos to navigate the world of being a dog parent. So we'll see you in the upcoming episodes.